Good morning, everybody. RV living with the geezer. And uh, I'm in Paradise, Texas right now. I feel like I'm in Paradise. And I am in Paradise. But uh, I just pulled over here to put the camera in the holder. And Blanca and I are heading over to Bridgeport, Texas, which is only about, oh, 15 miles from Boyd where we live and uh, we're gonna head over here and they've got a place called uh, Crazy Pablo's and I was gonna I'm gonna grab some lunch there I checked their menu out and their prices look real good unless it was a, an older menu I don't know I might be in for a surprise but I saw they had some fried mushrooms on their appetizers and I haven't had fried mushrooms in a long time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over there and get some fried mushrooms for lunch. Get her out, let her have a little ride. She, she hadn't been out riding with me much anymore because I'm using that ramp. I have to carry it all the way back up to the truck. I'm just being lazy and leaving her at the trailer, which isn't good, so. Yep, but yeah, I wanna, tell you all what happened uh see if this gravel truck is going to stop i like the way they just roll up yeah uh during the cowboy game the other night uh phone rang and it was an old friend of mine i've known her for oh we i was best friends with her husband for many years he's passed away but Anyway, make a long story short, uh, she lives down uh, west of Kerrville. They have a, her and Bucky bought a real nice place out there. Her name's Dee, and Dee called me and she was upset. And uh, Bucky was one of the founders of the Leon Springs Fire Department. And uh, they've been giving a lot of recognition to different people down there lately. Their 50th anniversary is coming up on the 7th of February. We started that fire department in 1973, on, evidently February 7th. So I'll try to make the, not get this too strong out. But she just asked me if she didn't know who to try to contact or anything. She wanted Bucky to have some recognition. And he was fire chief there uh, for several years also in Leon Springs, so, uh, so I, I had a name of a, of a captain there at Leon Springs now, and, uh, so I told her, you know, I was trying to watch a cowboy game, and I, I got, I got her settled down and told her that I'd call, so the next day I, I did, I called this, this captain down at Leon Springs, and we talked for a long time, and he's a young guy, you know, really personable, and, uh, uh, his name is Captain uh, Beidegger. So, uh, if you ever watch my videos, uh, Captain, I appreciate. I told him too how much I appreciated what he did. So he, uh, I asked him if he could call her and talk to her, and if they could get something going on uh, some recognition. What happened when they started the fire department in Leon Springs? There was no fire department out there. And uh, there was a fire, and a little girl di uh, died in the house fire back in 1970. I believe it was around Christmas time back uh, in 72. And uh, so Bucky and uh, a couple of other guys got together, and they, f they got a meeting together. And I had coached Little League with Bucky. I knew Bucky really a good guy, a real good ball player too, to when he was younger, and uh, he had a son that was eight years old that turned out to be an awesome baseball coach, but uh, anyway, uh, Bucky called me and wanted me to, you know, ask me if I'd be interested in the fire department, and this is what all got me started in the fire service, and I said, yeah, I'll go to that meeting, and so went, and turned out there was eight, eight or nine of us that uh, were active, they actually recruited for 
That's how many signed up to join the fire department as firefighters. And, uh, you know, none of us really, I don't think anybody there had any training at all. And the way we started it, the way we were able to start it, was there's a suburb in San Antonio called Balcones Heights. Now I gotta slow down, because Bridgeport's rough on the speeders. Uh, yeah, there's a subdivision, uh, suburb called Balcones Heights, and they have a paid fire department, it's sort of like Castle Hills where I work. And they donated, they heard that we were starting a fire department. We had, we didn't have a truck, you know. And they no, donated this little old, it was an old army four by four truck. It had a 300 gallon water tank on it and a little auxiliary 250 gallon a minute pump. So if you do the math on that, if you're pumping out of that at 250 gallons a minute, uh, it's gonna last, that tank will last you a little over a minute, but with the smaller hoses, it would. It was great for fighting uh, grass fires, and brush fires. It wasn't it wasn't built to fight house fires, but so we we got it going, and we had a we uh, had, there's a county park out there called Raymond Russell Park, and uh, uh, we had a big barbecue. We advertised it. We passed out flyers and everything. And uh, yeah, we made about three, four thousand dollars, which back then was really great. And we bought a used gas truck of all things from a fella in Bernie. And uh, of course, we went in and they, you know, cleaned out the tank real good, and we made a water tanker out of it. It was, uh, let's see, I'm not too familiar with, it, but it doesn't matter. We can. Oh, I go straight up here and then turn. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so it, it held around a 1,000 gallons, I believe, of water. And we put a nice pump on the back of it. And one of the guys that joined was a plumber. Uh, Dee's brother was a plumber. Uh, his nickname of all things is Tadpole. And uh, he's still alive, James Graham. But everybody knows him as Tadpole. He, he owned his own plumbing company in, in Leon Springs. And uh, yeah, so that that's the way it got started. So Bucky Walters actually started that fire department and they are gonna give him some recognition here. Uh, they're having their 50th anniversary party or celebration on the 24th of October. So, uh, I don't know. It just all depends on, you know, they want me to come, of course, since I was, and this Steve Beidegger, this captain, he wants me to, you know, next time I get down there, he wants me to come by and he's going to give me a tour of the new station. And he's got, says he's got a lot of old pictures that he, uh, he you know, I could identify some people on it, on them for him. And uh, it just sounds like a really just a really nice guy, you know. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's, it's just depends on Blanca, really. It, you know, I just sort of uh, going as she goes. So we'll uh, we'll see. You know, uh, traveling around right now isn't the greatest option. But let's see. This crazy pot. Be my luck that they're closed today. Let's see. Is this it? No, that's not. Let's see. This is the main part of Bridgeport, the old part right here. I've taken you off through here before. But anyway, he, he uh, uh, Steve got a hold of D, and he called me back yesterday. I mean, he got right on it, and he got her all calmed down and everything, and they're, they're going to work something out for Bucky. And, uh, you know, made her happy, which is great. But, uh, yeah. So, that... Uh, that, that all worked out really good. I'm gonna have to go down here and turn around, I believe. Which is all right. Yeah, guys, so, yeah. Uh, you know, and it sort of made my day that he got a hold of her so quick, quickly, and you know, to, he got the business handled. That's sort of, it's a little unusual 
nowadays, so I might turn around and go back to Crazy Pablo's. I don't know if I'll, I'll probably do another video over here. Of, there's parts of Bridgeport that I haven't even seen. I may drive around a little bit. And I'm gonna bring her down here after I eat. And uh, there's a P-A-R-K right here. So uh, let me pull in here and get turned around and go back. I saw an open spot across the street over there. All right, everybody. We'll be talking at you later. Peace out. Stay blessed and stay positive. And I'm fixing to go eat some uh, fried mushrooms. I hope they got some good cream gravy to go with them. Adios, my friends. Bye-bye.